Okay, my name is Ray Parkinson. I'm with Ziploc Systems. All of our contact info is here, and this is a project on Long Island in New York. It's a three-story, and we're going to be just walking through the basics. Here I am going up through Brooklyn on my way to Long Island from Atlanta. Uh, the first day or so, we're uh, bolting these column and floor beams together and standing them as one unit uh, with the reach forklift. And you'll see here in a minute how the panels start going into this structural steel. This is the panel that we're using. It's a metal faced EPS SIP. It comes out of the cold storage world. The metal face is uh, painted on Galvaloon and it actually can be left exposed the way it is. In commercial, you know, in commercial industrial, it is left exposed. But in residential, uh, you don't have to do house wrap. You don't have to worry about weather and water during construction because it's not hurting the panel. Here we are starting the panel, going into the beam. Uh, you'll see a close-up here in a minute, but basically it's inserted from the top with the scissor lift, and the panels are trapped in the web, the I beam. Uh, this is our affiliate here in New York, Ziploc Forever. If you need them, their phone number is here, and the website is ziplocforever.com. Uh, if you see here, this panel is slid into this. I'll show another picture of that in a minute, but this clip structurally traps the face of the panel back under the web and under the flange of the I-beam. So these screws are, are going into this clip. The clip is under there. Also, uh, understand that these columns have an inch, inch and a half face of insulation that goes over the columns. So there's really, there's no bottom plate, there's no header, there's no top plate, and the columns are insulated with an inch and a half of uh, foam board in front. So really there's no thermal bridging in the system at all because there's no, there's no headers, there's no bottom plate, double top plate, none of that. Here you see how the panel is, is inserted into the web of the beam. This is an extremely strong, uh, if you imagine the panel where the car is sitting on the panel, that, that structure is effect, in effect with each panel because they're trapped in this I beam. And the clip goes like I'm showing here and back out over the face of this SIP panel. So each panel is trapped. It is incredibly strong for wind loading as well as seismic. Uh, we believe in an earthquake situation. The red iron is very flexible and performs well in earthquakes. And in this case, we see that the panel would just shift around within the beam. It wouldn't fall out of the beam. Here we are almost done with the walls. You see how the floor system is basically a uh, member that's bolted to the red iron and then standard floor 2 by 8 2 by 10 in a joist hanger. So that part is efficient and this is a three-story, 35-foot tall home. Here's the beams going on the roof. That's how we're uh, also additionally fastening the panel to the beam by just strapping from sip to sip. This is occurring on this other side as well. And then we shoot the beam with a powder gun. And that is in addition to the clip that's outside that we discussed earlier. Here the panels being slid into the rafters on the roof. And this is a connection floor to wall column. Very, very strong. Here's the third floor of this residence. Uh, you see here how the foam is coming out between the rafter beam and the sit panel we inject foam in that whole cavity basically by just drilling holes and puncturing in with a wand and filling that entire cavity between sip to steel so there's no air infiltration through the panel because it's a metal face panel once you foam this joint and tape it there's no air infiltration to speak of and you pretty much have complete control over air movement 
some light gauge framing going in. Uh, this is the second floor. They may or may not put any walls here. They don't have to. It's a clear span design, so there's no walls necessary. Another view of that. Here you can just see where they've taped off the vertical panel on the end cap walls, and they did that on the side walls as well from the inside and out. So this home is just extremely, extremely airtight. Metal roof going on. Uh, turned out very nice. There's a porch. You'll see here in a minute that's on this front. There's a porch that goes along here. Porch roof. Here's the final product. Uh, it's almost complete. They're doing some stacked stone. Uh, they do have a little garage here. They will have a, a big staircase going up right here to the front door. Uh, they had to elevate because of code in New York now after the hurricane. But uh, this is the finished product, and uh, it's just it's turned out very nice. Our contact information is all here. My phone number, uh, the SiplockSystems.com, as well as Siplock Forever, which is New York, and Florida as well. Siplock Forever will be in Florida as, as, as well. If you need us, please call us. Thank you very much.